Hey, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyper Stamper. I can't wait to show you this beautiful, special, special journal. If you are a younger sister or you have an older sister, um, this might be a lovely journal to have or give. This is from 1932. The spine is fantastic. Uh, younger sister. I've never seen this book before and I, I thought I'd seen them all. This is a Kathleen Norris. It's a romance novel almost 100 years old and I've added these gorgeous vintage beads and vintage chains down the side to complement the cover. Uh, everything else is completely intact. And let's take a look at the inside. This Everything in here is authentic antique and vintage ephemera and I found as much sister related uh, images and ephemera that I could possibly stuff into here. So I kept the original first pages as I always do. Here's the original publisher's date 1932 there in of Roman rules. And I've just added as much fun as I could here. So I've got some vintage trim here. I made this rose out of vintage pattern, sewing pattern. This is the interior spine of this book. And in here, I've made a pocket out of a lovely image with two sisters, I hope, at the kitchen table here. I've put in two lovely vintage playing cards here. And then on this side, I just put a vintage canasta sheet that you can journal on and some antique paper here. So just a really fun little pocket there. Here's another sister's pocket. Look how cute this one is. And then in here, I've made this little booklet. This is a 1959 theater arts uh, page here with just some vintage school book uh, paper. Fun little journaling spots. And this one here is just kind of neat. It's from 1807. Is that neat? Very, very thin, almost tissue-like paper, but you can have fun with that. All right, really fun clusters throughout here, but look at this wonderful sister's photograph. You can tell they're sisters just by looking at them. And this is a 1930s photograph that the photographer put on a postcard as they always did back in the day, so people could mail these out to their families. And then I've got a nice little journaling spot here, fun little clusters here, out oh, your ladyship here. Crochet. This is 1926 uh, Delineator magazine page, but look at this full color page. This is one of the special ones, and there's your Lux detergent there, which was uh, on a receipt that I did in my last video, which was fun. Look at that. Just awesome images, really telling of the Art Deco time in there and the design. This here is another wonderful plate from a, a 1950s art book, and that is a Paris, um, July at Le Havre in Paris. Uh, vintage flip chart paper that I stamped on. This is a 1930s children's book page. And look at this wonderful 1942 paper here that was with their version of photocopying, but I have these wonderful children's book images here, two sisters here dancing and two sisters here swinging. And then I've got this fun little journaling tag up here. This is a page from the book that you can journal on. An early 1900s botanical book page. There's a wonderful little image of two sisters playing a board game. And here's another one, two sisters in the house doing the dishes and putting them away. Some antique paper on the back to journal on. That's just a, a ledger sheet for attendance at the Beacon Lodge from the 1930s. This is a 1953 receipt. Isn't that wonderful? Bacon, butter, dogs. <laughs> just dogs. Hopefully that's hot dogs. <laughs> Lovely little uh, Mother Goose 1930s children's book page there. And more on the flip side of these here. Another wonderful little children's book page. And look at this great little photograph from 1930. And that is 30s. Two sisters as well. Looks like they're on a little trip here. That's a selfie. I believe that's a selfie. Wow, that could be the first selfie ever. And here is a 1921 Etude magazine page, which is a music magazine, double-sided. Just really, really fun to look through, especially if you know any musicians. And look at this from the 1800s. This is one of those marbled pages that would have been at the front of the book that fell out of a disintegrated book, but I thought it was too beautiful to throw away. Here's a 1955 American Highway Road map piece. This one... Uh, let's see, has Memphis on this side. That's pretty cool. And then over here is another set of Blytheville. This is one of these wonderful vintage bird 
pages here and this one has the egg in the nest as well it's just fabulous did some hand stamping on there there's um, a troubadour poetry book page and a wonderful little vintage recipe book page tea pies and salad and here's one of these great arborite pieces here double-sided and I picked this color because it's coral which is a deep dark coral on the cover as well so I thought that was a perfect match. And then this wonderful antique postcard from the early 1900s, probably around 1915. It's, it's just on the brink of Art Deco there. And let's see, we have more wonderful children's book pages here. And this is just another little wonderful piece here. I was hoping these would be sisters. And then we've got some girls here lined up in the back and that came from a 1953 yearbook album. Happy Delights. Lots of journaling space there. And I made the pocket out of a 1920s children's book page. And this wonderful vintage fabric with the gold threading in it. And then we have this great antique paper under here. 1950s sewing book page. And some vintage music sheets. And just another fun little booklet here with antique and vintage ephemera as well for journaling in. Okay. This is a... Um, uh, a what does it say? Bead bluing and soapy water wash. I have no idea what that means, but back in the 1940s, it meant something important. There's a wonderful statue of Columbus. There's more of that 1953 yearbook page. Look how fantastic that is. I love it. Yeah, just great. Okay, sorry. I digress. Here is a wonderful map, antique map. Uh, early 1900s, another 1940s page there. 1950s receipt. Oh, we're getting close to the end. Makes me sad. Two 1920s uh, banknotes here and more sisters here. Crochet, lovely, fun little children's book pages. More sisters here. And that is actually from the very early 1900s. And that brings us to the last signature. We've got some woodworking here from early 1900s, pre-1910. Botanicals book page here more of the woodworking and an antique music sheet here children's book page images here look at these lovely wings inside of the buttons isn't that pretty oh, i love it and that's the end so that's going up on etsy and i love it i hope you loved it too uh hyperstamper.etsy.com and i hope you will subscribe we'll see you soon